Good morning traders, this is a follow-up for uh, my two weeks follow-up for my 1% daily forex challenge. Uh, it's a cumulative, so not exactly 1% a day, but as long as the end result is works out to being that, then I've reached my goal. Uh, from my previous video, I had this uh, showing you how I'm uh, trying to accomplish this audacious goal here of a cumulative 1% per day and if you watch my other videos you'll know that i was uh january was up 35 percent february 8.6 march uh 20.7 and as of today or of last friday i'm up for just the april results are up 5.4 percent but overall i am below my goal of one percent a day by came very close of going back in the green here uh, i was only minus 15 dollars uh, last or a couple of weeks ago or 10 days ago on the fifth here but i'm still holding these positions that i am hoping will turn around soon uh so the good news good news bad news good news is i'm up 5.4 percent for april so far uh which uh you know compared to other traders or systems it's pretty awesome still but my according to my goal here it's uh below for below the goal by 43 dollars so let's look at the chart see what i'm holding and see what's going to happen here what i think is going to happen so i have three positions opened uh, aud usd pair here i'm going short on this so this is my take profit point um my quick analysis for this pair is as follows i usually do look at the uh, weekly daily and enter on the four hours so on, on on this pair i believe i started going short around here uh did one position around here on the four hour chart and then i i added another position around i believe it was this point here so it worked against me but i'm not too worried about this because if you look at the long picture uh, I think I said before the weekly charts on the Forex uh, is not very accurate I mean it works in other markets like the stock market but as far as the uh, Forex weekly is not very reliable it's like 50 50 almost on uh, if you use the candle uh, combination with the technical analysis uh, for example here this was very bullish because it kept rejecting the low price but it didn't really pan out very well and other cases it uh, you got a very good bullish engulfing on the weekly and it took off after that you got a bearish engulfing and it went down so it's kind of uh, not reliable like here's some examples where it didn't really work out this was a almost a bearish uh, bearish engulfing right here but it didn't work out I mean you would have expected this to go down right here but it didn't but anyways another example is this too is uh, bullish didn't work out um, so I just look at the weekly for an overall picture so it's below the 200 on the weekly and the daily it's also uh, bearish um, because it's like it is heading down you can tell by the 200 every time it challenges the 200 from the last uh, few times here it just failed miserably so it did that here here and this we'll see what happens here uh, you'll find out when my i do my next video in two weeks so or you can keep an eye on it yourself and email me or if you want to communicate my emails below the video so my next pair is this I call exotic pair which is the USD uh, South African Rand I think they call it Rand so same same idea here uh, I believe this is a uh, the bullish uh, area or in a few weeks or so it'll be it might go in this area here uh, I don't try to max them out the move so I usually take profits pretty early on because I don't want to be stuck holding this for you know weeks on end. So anyways, uh, this I believe is going to turn positive very soon. Um, good resistance here. 
support, I'm, I should say. This is a good support where I drew this red line. Uh, so support and resistance are not necessarily just one point on a chart. It's usually like a range. So a lot of people just draw one line. I'm like, no, it's, it's a range. So I believe this is going to be in profit very soon, in a few days, a week. And my last, my third pair that I'm holding right now is this. Uh, I, I believe it's going to uh, reach, uh, retest these highs here. So I'm holding on to this. It's a daily chart on the weekly. It uh, looks very bullish for the US CAD. So we'll see. I'll be, hopefully, I'll be uh, my next update. This column here will be in the green. But I don't want people to misunderstand this saying that I'm losing money. No, it's uh, this account was started. 251.92 and currently it's around 470 so almost double I would say yeah so when I reach $500 which is hopefully pretty soon it'll be double in about four months maybe so this here I put it in red because this is means it's below my daily goal so anywho and I also started this account with a small dollar amount on purpose I could have had uh, I could have started this with 5,000 or 3,000 what have you but I purposely started on a small dollar amount to be an inspiration or give hope for people that don't have a lot of money to trade that to show them that it is possible over time to work this up to a, a substantial amount so ultimate goal is by two years from now or so this will be if i can keep the one percent uh, accumulation going it'll be over a hundred thousand and one percent of that will be like twelve hundred dollars a day so that's i can live off of that <laughs> okay hope you enjoyed the video comment uh or send me an email or if you have any questions contacting thank you